What's going on my friends? Welcome to the video. So for those of you who have been following my channel for a while, you know that I love backpack vacuum cleaners. They're extremely practical. You can use them on multiple applications. And I've been using them in my cleaning business for 16, 17 years. And in this video, I got a brand new one. I got the Prolux Commercial Vacuum Cleaner 10 Quart. And I want to give you an honest review, give you some pros, give you some cons, what I love about it. Um, is it worth the money, right? Is it worth purchasing and getting one for yourself? And I'm going to give you some cons, some things uh, that I don't care for that I think could be improved. First things first, the most important spec when you're looking at a backpack vacuum cleaner is your suction, right? The more suction you have, the more airflow you're going to generate, the more cleaning power you're going to have. For this backpack vacuum cleaner, we have 150 CFM. What is CFM? Well, that is your suction rating. That's your suction spec when you're shopping for your backpack vacuum cleaner. Here's how the scale goes. 141 to 150 or above is phenomenal. 120 to 140 is solid. 100 to 119 is poor, below average, probably don't care too much for that. And anything 99 and below, don't waste your time. You really don't have a vacuum cleaner at that point. This one has 150 CFM, which is absolutely phenomenal. That spec alone makes this vacuum cleaner worth it. So in terms of suction, the Prolux knocks it out of the park. Now let's talk about the design and the attachments for this thing. This thing has a metal body. Hear that? Hear that? Extremely, extremely good quality. When you purchase this thing, it's going to come with a 50-foot extension cord. It comes with your typical wand. The great thing about this wand is I can take right here, push this, snap, take it right apart. So when I'm using it, I can just clean hard-to-reach areas like this and then snap it right back and continue the work. It comes with one of these attachments right here, so this is just typical floor attachment. This vacuum is made to vacuum non-carpeted floors. So tile, hardwood, vinyl, right? You just take this and you can vacuum up underneath, un underneath couches, underneath chairs, underneath dressers, right? As long as they're lifted up off the ground. This is another attachment that comes with it. Just a slight variation. You got your crevice tool right here. One of these little brush attachment. You got one of these right here. As you can see, I've been using it. Great thing about this, you can pop your brush off, and then you got this. Pop your brush back on. Let's put it on. So to wear this, you just pop it on right like that. It comes with a little uh, strap right here that you can clip. It also comes with one down here. Clip right like that. Tighten it, and here you go. Now you're ready to go to work. Now, what about weight? Metal body, right? Is it heavy? It's 11 pounds. So for a little, maybe smaller people, it might be a little bit of, of a weight on your back. But for me, I'm 5'11", 6 foot. It's not a big deal. I have another backpack vacuum cleaner like this that is plastic. Remember I told you the, the body was made of plastic? And it's 10 pounds. So it's, it's basically... This is very standard weight for backpack vacuum cleaners, so it's not overly heavy. This is probably the most comfortable backpack vacuum cleaner I've ever had. I mean, the straps here are just... Look at the thickness of this pad. See the thickness of that? I mean, this is solid. Good quality straps. It's not... It's not... Um, burdensome at all. It's very comfortable. Definitely the most comfortable backpack vacuum I've ever had. I like to undo that one. I don't care to have that one strapped. I just like to have this one strapped. Let's get into some cons. So this is the hose that it comes with. And then you take your wand and you just simply attach it right like that. Okay, and then you go to vacuuming, right? Plug up your extension cord, turn it on, go to vacuuming. The con that I have with this vacuum cleaner is the hose. You see this back here? How it's sticking out? That thing is incredibly rigid, incredibly stiff. If you want to vacuum in a hallway and you got picture frames on the wall, you're going to have a hard time vacuuming that hallway and not knocking the picture frames off the wall. 
That is the problem I have with this vacuum, is that hose back here. See it? This right here is the hose you want. <laughs> this is a stretch hose. So, it stretches, see? Stretchy. But what's awesome about it is it hangs. Let me show you what it looks like. See the difference? I attached the stretch hose. Now I can vacuum anywhere. I can get to the tight spaces where there's dressers that have, you know, candles and delicates on top. I can go in there and I can vacuum. I don't have to worry about my hose knocking stuff off. So this right here, this, no, it's not stretchy, it's rigid. It's garbage. Sorry, sorry, it just, it frustrates me. It's almost like the people that designed it don't vacuum houses. Like, do you vacuum hallways? Do you clean houses with a backpack vacuum cleaner? You know you can't use that. So this right here, this hose is what you want. You can buy this at like a janitorial supply store for like 20 bucks. So spend the extra 20 bucks, get you one of these. It's well worth it and it will save you a lot of headaches and then you ain't got to be self-conscious like, oh, where's my hose at? No, I need to focus on what I'm vacuuming. I don't want to worry about where my hose is at. Is the hose a deal breaker? Absolutely not. This vacuum cleaner is phenomenal. I mean, quality, 150 CFM. So it's not a deal breaker. You just got to take care of the hose situation. I also should mention this vacuum has a HEPA filtration system, three levels, which is awesome. Now, it's a little more in-depth for this video. I'm not going to explain what HEPA filtration system is. If you don't know what HEPA filters are and how it works, I did an entire video dedicated to HEPA filtration. I'll leave that video listed and linked down below for you. You can check that out and you can understand why HEPA filtration is so significant. So what about the bags inside? We're talking about the design here. Well, when you need to change your bag, you just flick that, flick the other side, pop the top off, and here's your bag. You just pull it out right here. I like that. This gray bag right here is washable, so you can wash it and then you can dry it. So if it starts to stink, right, that's when you'd want to wash it. Whenever you purchase this vacuum, it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six replacement bags to get you started. That's going to last for a while, especially if you're just using this around your house. After you change your bag out, just pop it back inside, right like that. Very simple. Put your top on, boom. Boom, you're ready to go to work. Another thing I like to do with backpack vacuum cleaners is it's very standard for the backpack vacuum to come with these type of attachments. Okay, it's just a plastic, and there's these little slits here that allow for airflow. So on the floor, those little slits give you your airflow so that it's not sealed. Because if, there were, if those slits weren't there, if it was just sealed, then you wouldn't have any airflow and then you wouldn't have it wouldn't pick up anything so those little slits there is to provide airflow but I'm not a big fan of these type of attachments this, this hard plastic here I prefer to purchase one of these separate for like 20 bucks from like a janitorial supply store and it's just it's a brush attachment so you see it's got brushes but the air can get through these brushes no problem so it's not like up, it's sealed, now you don't get any suction. No, it still gets through really well. But I prefer these brush attachments right here. I find this to be a little more gentle on the floors and, you know, less likely to scratch. I've never scratched a floor with the other one. It's just, I don't know, it's a comfort thing in my heart. What can I say? So how do you use a backpack vacuum cleaner? Well, like I said, you know, I use this to go around and vacuum non-carpeted floors so much faster than sweeping. When you try to sweep, a lot of times it just throws all the dust into the air. And so if you can just vacuum those floors, vacuum that pet hair, it makes life so much easier when you're trying to clean a house or an office. Um, to me, a backpack vacuum cleaner is the best investment you can have for your cleaning business. So I go around, I vacuum floors with this thing. If there's a hard to reach area in the corner, like I said, boom pop that off. Now you got this, stick it behind your couch, stick it behind your dresser, vacuum up that pet hair behind that hard reach area, pop it back, get back to vacuuming your floor. What else? Take your wand off. Get your little round brush attachment, or you can use this brush attachment, whichever one. 
pop it on there. And then what I like to do is vacuum blinds. So if you got to move out cleaning, you got a first time cleaning, and then there's an inch of dust on your blinds or your ceiling fans or drawers in your kitchen cabinets, right? You pull the silverware tray out and you got a bunch of crumbs right here. Vacuum your blinds, vacuum your ceiling fan, vacuum the drawers in your kitchen, and it'll make your life a whole lot easier. Another thing I use this vacuum for, and this is another reason why you want a brush attachment, check it out. Got dust on your walls? Do I need to say anything else? I mean, that's another reason why I like the brush attachment. So that's the review. I hope this video helps you out. I hope that you find it valuable. I hope that it helps you and aids you in your purchasing decision. 150 CFM is the big thing. This thing is uh, the most powerful backpack vacuum cleaner I've ever seen. Okay, 150 is as high as I've seen it go in the backpack vacuum world. So it's got a sealed HEPA filtration system. I don't have any complaints. I have no problems purchasing this vacuum cleaner. Um, it's definitely well worth the money and it'll definitely help you out in your clean business. So with that being said, that's about all I got for this video. I'll make um, some more videos about it, maybe comparing it with others in the future. Until next time, I'll see y'all in the next video.